Hi, so today we are looking at uh, experiment uh, which is known as cross ventilation in a room. Um, it is a part of the, the ventilation set of experiments in the kit. And here I have all the equipments that I'll be requiring to perform this experiment. Firstly, I have the house uh, parts, the scaled house parts that is. Here I have two taken two plain walls without windows and I have further taken two uh, walls with windows. I can take any two walls with windows but here I have selected uh, walls with this configuration here and then there is the roof and the base of the house. I will also be additionally requiring the hoop holder and the clips to assemble the house. Here I have also taken the hoop which will be used to simulate the uh, airflow pattern. I have the matchsticks which I will be using to light the hoop and I have a fan which I will be using to simulate the wind flow. Uh, so it's, I have to, uh, since I will have to uh, use the wind to simulate the, uh, the pattern, here I will use this fan uh, to simulate the wind flow. The objective of this experiment is for students to understand how does a cross ventilation in a room work and what exactly would, uh, should be the, the room pattern, the, the room configuration, especially the window to wall ratio uh, and window placement, etc. in order to get the best possible cross ventilation. So in the experiment, we will be uh, looking at different cross ventilation patterns. And this will actually help students to visualize and ha have a visual understanding of the whole cross flow uh, ventilation concept uh, for inside a room. So we'll look at the assembly uh, of this experiment. First of all, for this experiment, we need to assemble the house. For assembling the house, I'll first take the house base. Then I will take different windows. First, I'm taking this window. And again, I will uh, make sure that the grid lines are outside. And this notch here should go in the hole provided here. So then I will make sure that the adjacent window is the window which is a plain one and not and I'll with the help of clips I will attach it Now I'll make sure to uh, get the other walled, uh, other wall with window on the opposite side of the first wall with window. And I will also include the final side of the house. I'll also make sure I have it on top.
so here as we have as we can see we have assembled the house um, this assembly might take a bit of a time because it is a very precise uh, like the all the parts are very precise so we have to uh, assemble it precisely if we uh, make some error in in precision it will take uh, it will not get properly fit so it it take it takes pre precision area uh, assembly to be able to assemble this house so this is the the house that we have here and we will be using now to perform the experiment on this house so to perform this experiment first of all i have removed the roof of this house because i want to see the the wind flow pattern here through the dhup uh, to the flow of uh, dhup here now what i will do first of all is i will align the fan that i have in this direction and such that the back side of the fan is towards the house and the second important thing that i have to make sure is that the the house that that i have currently the room needs to be in alignment of the center of the fan so currently it's it's like it's on the bottom side so what i will do is i'll use some elevation so that i'll make it collinear with the axis of the fan for that i'm just using some equipments from the kit only that i have so these are the boxes that we have in kit 2 i'm just using them to give elevation to this house here then this another two boxes i have and but i'll also use the base panel to keep the house so this is now collinear my house is so it's as you can see the center of this okay this is approximately collinear we can use anything we can use books etc to give it an elevation but we have to just make sure that this is collinear here now what i'll also do is i'll use another part which is a transparent one to cover the top of the uh, the house so that i'm able to see the the smoke then i will light the dhup with help of a matchstick as you can see here the dhup is lit i will put it inside the dhup holder here we have a small bowl i will cover it and place it like this so here you can see there is smoke coming out of the smoke source and currently it is going top now if we switch on the fan we can see the smoke being pulled towards the draft so from top if you just see here the smoke is moving in this direction so the the wind pressure is pulling smoke and it is in turn enabling the cross ventilation in the room
so here we can see uh, we can actually draw this this smoke pattern uh, from top what we are witnessing here for this window configuration if we change window configuration window sizes uh, we can we can maybe um, uh, witness another sort of a smoke pattern which will uh, basically show us that the wind flow would be different for different window sizes window configuration and window orientation as as well so if we change for example if we, if we change this window uh, to this side we might witness another wind pattern or smoke pattern here so this will help us or this will help all the students to imagine how the uh, the, the cross ventilation helps uh, in in providing natural draft inside a room and how different orientations or not or lack of cross ventilation would maybe uh, deter the the wind flow or or it will um, stop the wind from flowing uh, in crossward direction so this is the experiment thank you <laughs>